let's go back to Word application. Here, let's say um, we could insert here later the contact name. Okay, now the use of this is we are going to insert the, the one that we did a while ago in a spreadsheet. These are the data. We want to include this data into our Word application. How to do that? To make it uh, easily for us to, to send a letter into different recipients, we should use this spreadsheet. So this is now our database. This spreadsheet is our database because as you can see, there are uh, many uh, informations already here. And this information is we want to include here in our letter. So how to do that? You just click on the mailing menu or the mailing tab. These are the menus. And just uh, look for mailing tab. And below the mailing tab, these are the ribbons on it. Just uh, select on the start mail merge. Then step by step mail merge. And then you select letter because uh, we are going to make a letter. Then click on the next starting document here. Just click this one. And then you will just click or select this use the current document. Okay, this first option here. Then click next, select recipient. And then you just click on the option number one, use an existing list. After you select this, just click on this browse button. Just click on this, browse, and then um, find for your spreadsheet file that you did a while ago. So just click on this desktop and then the spreadsheet. Our spreadsheet file name is mail merge data. So you just click on that and then click on the open button. Okay, so this is now our sheet one, the one that we did in spreadsheet. Then just click on OK command. As you can see now, all the data that we inserted or that we typed fed a while ago in spreadsheet it is now here in this um, uh, dialog box so the data source name is the mail merge data that is our file name in our spreadsheet and these are the uh, the fields or the data file city province date contact name street name sender name and designations with the following informations on it. Okay, so assuming these are all our recipients. And now we click OK. Then let's start to insert them. First, click on this insert merge field. Again, it is found on the ribbon of mailing tab. Just click on this insert mail merge and then select for the first um, part of the letter. The first part of the letter is the date. Click date. And just press enter twice. And then select for the contact name, the recipient name. Then press enter. Another, go back to the insert merge field. Click on the street name. Okay. Enter again. I go back to the insert mail merge, click for the city, enter. Again, go back to the insert merge field, click for the province. Then, press enter. Now, another, you will select for the sender name, but the sender name is found at the bottom of this sheet. Okay, so I will just zoom in so that you can see it more clever now let's go back we inserted a while ago the date 
to insert the contact name, street name, or barangay, city, and province. And these are all here in the insert merge field. Okay? Now, let us uh, scroll down so that we can find for the um, receiver, for the sender name. So we can uh, enter twice here and then you go back to the insert merge field. So your cursor is now at the bottom of this um, sheet or of this workspace. You click on this is insert merge field, then select for a sender name. Okay, so I think I am wrong because the sender name should be below the sincerely or the complementary clause. Alright, so let's us uh, put our cursor below the complementary clause. So this is now our cursor, the blinking object here. So it is now ready to insert our sender name. Okay, and then below the sender name, just press enter again, the designation of the sender. Alright, now as you can see, there are a uh, space here. There, uh, I think it is just one inch below. So if you want to make this uh, smaller, then you could select this two, and you go back to the home tab and you select this button. Okay, for the line and paragraph spacing. Okay, and then you remove the space after the paragraph. So that's the difference now. There is no uh, spaces between the sender name and the designation anymore because we remove the space after the paragraph. Then we can do this also on the first uh, fields. This one. So as you can see, there are spaces in between them. So you could select them all. Then you go back to the home tab. This is the home tab. And then below the home tab, there are ribbons. So you just find for this ribbon. Click on this drop down arrow, line and paragraph is spacing. And then you remove the space after paragraph. So as you can see now, there uh there is no spacing anymore. So as you can see, it is more uh, uh, nice to see than before. Now, if you want to, to, to display the result or the information of this, you just click, you go back to the mailing tab again. All right. And then just click on this preview result. Okay. So zoom in. So that you can see that is the preview result click on this preview result now there you can see the information in it so to see them uh, the other con uh, information not only for Lim Anatan you if you want to see the other recipient information just click on this button this is a navigation button so just click on this arrow the next arrow next to see the next record okay as you can see you could it uh you could uh see now the second recipient name another the third recipient okay so and so on so just click on this navigation button uh the same with the uh complementary class here who is the sender so as you can see uh, you only have one sender there's only one manager in the company okay so now you're ready for printing okay so you did how many uh, letters or how many recipient uh, so there are 25 recipients in this uh, this a uh, letter okay so this is a, a sample letter uh, we forgot to include also the name here in our salutation so we could also add if you want so you can go back again to the insert merge field click on the list down drop down arrow and 
you select for the contact name. That's it. So it's already there. So you just click on the navigation button. Okay. So as you click that, it will also change the name of the recipient. All right. So it's the same on the other part. Okay. So as you click this, it will change the recipient name information. So that's how simple is using mail merge. Again, do not forget that in the near future, if your boss will tell you to make a letter into different uh, recipients or various recipients, but the document information or the content of the letter uh, is the same, then you could use mail merge for easy production. Okay, I hope that you've learned a lot on this demonstration. Uh, I am looking forward to, of course, see your own output. Good luck, guys. Have a nice day.